In this demo video, you'll learn the basics of backup and recovery operations for Office 365 Teams using the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud. We will consider a case when the customer represents a large company having two subsidiaries represented by two Office 365 organizations. We assume that one of those organizations is already set up. Let's set up the second organization. Thus, log in to the Cyber Protection Console as a company administrator. and navigate to Devices, and then Microsoft 365. Press the Add button in the upper right corner and select Microsoft 365. You will be forwarded to the Microsoft Online Portal login page. Provide the credentials for your Microsoft 365 organization. and press the Accept button to allow the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud to access your Microsoft 365 organization data. The Acronis CyberProtect Cloud will start registering your Microsoft 365 organization and discovering and importing its resources such as groups, public folders, site collections, teams, and users. As soon as the resources are discovered, you can access them through the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud user interface. Expand the section Teams. Here you can see all the teams available for the selected Microsoft 365 organizations. Let's create a backup plan for one of the existing teams. Thus, select the team in the list and navigate to Backup in the right pop-up panel. Press the Create New button. In fact, Microsoft 365 Team Backup is a resource-consuming operation. Therefore, by default, the Acronis CyberProtect Cloud performs automatic backups once a day to reduce server load. You can specify a backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backup on the server side. Moreover, you can enable encryption to protect your backup with a sophisticated password. Press the Apply button to finalize the process of backup plan creation. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. Along with individual backup plans, you can create a group backup plan for all teams belonging to the current Microsoft 365 organization. To create a group backup plan, navigate to All Teams. In the right pop-up panel, press Group Backup button. The process of creating a group backup plan is similar to the individual backup plan. You can access and browse any backup for any team created or stored in the cloud. Thus, select the desired team in the list and press the Recovery button in the right pop-up panel. Select the desired backup and click on the Recover drop-down list. You can browse through channels, email messages, and team site. For example, with respect to channels, you can browse through the conversations and files and search for keywords or phrases appearing in the conversation bodies and files metadata. Moreover, you can download the channel files in their original formats and the channel conversation as HTML. For teams, you can perform the full recovery of the entire team, as well as granular recovery of specific email messages, channels, and team sites. Let's have a closer look at the recovery of a channel file as an example. Thus, select a suitable recovery point, click on the Recover drop-down list, and select Channels. Navigate to the desired file, or find it using sophisticated search capabilities. Select the file and in the right pop-up panel, press the Recover button. You can perform the granular recovery of the selected channel file to the same or different channel and to the same or different team. Moreover, if you have several Microsoft 365 organizations within your company, you can recover the channel file to the same or different Microsoft 365 organizations. Along with the granular recovery of the specific channel files, you can recover all the channel data at once. 
Thus, select the desired channel on the list, press the Recover button in the right pop-up panel. The process of all channel data recovery is similar to the granular recovery of the channel files. Well, that's it.